want to first give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who one day lifted me up from the dregs of degradation and set me down on solid rock, established my goings and comings, and have given me the privilege to be used by him. There's not a greater privilege in all the world than to be used by God. That is a word from the Lord, and I, I want us to look back to the scripture of the book of John that was read in your hearing. I, I really want to just lift one verse out of the 15th chapter of John. chapter 17th verse when you found it say amen. I'm reading from the New King James Version and I, I like the way it's read it's, it didn't read like like uh, Mrs. Michelle I meant to tell her to read another but, but, but uh, give me what I want or to give us what we need let us look at the 17th verse. Now I want us to be clear from the New King James Version. I will tell you, hear me, what I have seen I will declare. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Let's stop. Let's sit back now. Useful subject. Have you made your declaration of independence? Have you made your declaration of independence? Turn to your neighbor, said neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Have you made your declaration of independence? Turn to somebody else that they didn't hear and said, neighbor. neighbor. Hey, neighbor. neighbor. Have you made your declaration of independence? Anybody got that? I'm going to catch up with some of y'all that got it yet. Give me some time. Let us pray. The eternal level, blessed God, we ask that you bless the words in my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. And Lord, help me not so much to preach a good sermon, but one that will do some good, so that the body of Christ may be edified for having heard it preached. In the glorious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Have you made your declaration in you know, when you declare something, it means that you're taking a stand for something. It means that uh, you have drawn the line. And what you've declared, you can't take it back. What you've declared is, or what you have spoken, is irreversible. Uh, irrevocable. You can't turn back. You can't take it back. You can't turn around from it. You've drawn the line in the sand. When I, little boy, and uh, we would get ready to fight somebody, another little boy, you, you, you would draw a line. Say, so you, you, you better not cross the door. It's going to be on. You, you declare made a declaration. Over the weekend, uh, we were celebrating the Declaration of Independence. Independence Day. You heard all last night. Some of y'all didn't get much sleep.
because of that. Five Frank. Oh, Lord, Frank. Pull my poor little dog in the car. Scared the shit. Five Frank. Power all night long. You know, everywhere you go. Jump. And uh, folks said, hey, that word now. I was talking to my wife. And Couple of them went on, pow, pow, looked like shot going right outside my house. I had to run and jump on the bed. I celebrated Independence Day, 4th of July. Then there are those that took long vacations in Charlotte. <laughs> went to the beach and they beach clothes. All that kind of stuff. See money out there. That waited time that we might celebrate the 4th of July. Hmm? Vacation time. All of that kind of stuff, you know. Cookouts everywhere. You can get, you can get a dish anywhere in the neighborhood. Folks cook it out on the lawn. Celebrating Independence Day. But what is the declaration of independence? Some of us celebrated, didn't, didn't even know what we were celebrating. We just knew that we was off. You understand? And, and we were going to the beach and we were cooking out and all that kind of stuff. We didn't know nothing about what we were celebrating. And then, yeah, yeah. But, but, but in reality, celebrating our independence from England being under the, the, the power of England, the colonists, American colonists being under England. And it was so bad, you know what I'm where folks were arrested under this regime, under King George, without a cause, just thrown in jail. Uh, and they depended on England for everything they had, from their fashions, their furniture, even their afternoon tea. They depended on England. Uh, because, and they paid the price. So, Heavy taxes for these luxuries. And not only that, it got so bad that the troops would just come into their homes without notice, without even uh, being invited. Just troops just walking through the living room. All of that kind of stuff. And there were some folks that just got tired. Slavery was rampant. And they said this was a, a peculiar institution, but a very cherished luxury. All that went on during this time. And there were some folk that were tired, not only tired, but sick and tired of being sick and tired. And one after another, you know, expressed their dissatisfaction with this government here. Almost like that. They complained, they, they, they talked about it, they debated about it, and even at the risk of losing their own lives to King George, if they had known that they were talking about how displeased and satisfied, dissatisfied they were, he would pay at the drop of a hat. The Congress come together. We've got to do some one by one dissatisfied. And uh, Patrick Henry, you, you heard of him, nothing about him in the fourth grade. And he is the one that said if they the, the endure all of this and the, the oppression that we are suffering and going through right now, uh, I, I would rather die. Give me liberty or give me death. Give me liberty or give me death. And right along with him, uh, uh, risking their lives, uh, even uh, 
uh, those who had been African American slaves uh, took the same cue and felt the same way about African American slavery, the same way that those who were under the slavery of King George. There were Frederick Douglass, Denmark Vesey, uh, women like Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman almost were saying, give me liberty. Oh, give me that. Well, well, the slave said, before I be a slave, I be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. They were so dissatisfied and kicking against the regime of this type of authority of slavery in which they, they would rather have drowned in the sea and the babies along with them in slavery rather than be slave. Give me liberty or give me death. These were the freedom they were fighting and many died for their independence. Yo, 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 they are with me. Now, you, 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 you may not quite understand, but uh, there's a text that, that help us, and they were looking for independence, all of them, you know, fought for the same thing. They cried out for the same thing. Uh, here. I think I need, I need to help you here. Uh, once the Declaration of Independence was signed from England, they didn't get their freedoms, y'all, immediately, overnight, the same time. It took them, y'all, took them seven years after the Declaration of Independence was signed, y'all, history books. Uh, and, 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 and even then, I mean, uh, white Americans could not experience their independence. So the, the, the paper that it was written, it wasn't worth nothing until after seven years and 25 years people dead under the hands of King Joe. Yo, yo, got time. Yo, yo, got time. Now, for white Americans, but for black Americans, uh, it took the Civil War four years of fighting when we, before this meant anything to black Americans. Took four years of fighting the Civil War. And not just four years of fighting the Civil War, 625,000 dead lives dead before that document could mean anything to us. Y'all y'all got time to wait on it. I'm talking about the declaration. Of independence. No, 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 no. Just like that. We do as believers. Sir, notice about our declaration of independence from the evil one. The devil, if you We do have declared as believers our dependence. From the wiles of the enemies, the temptations that uh, we're confronted with on a daily basis by false counterfeit gods. Y'all, y'all got time for me? Are you independent? Have you got that yet? I'm talking about false gods, like uh, the god materialism. Uh, some of us have been hoodwinking, chasing those gods there, and solely depending on those gods there, you know, faith. Yes. I've got to have these gods whisper in your ear. You've got to have more stuff. 
You got to have more things. You got to have a bigger house. You got to have a new car. You got to have a wardrobe. You got to have some blame. Come on out and play. Keep these cards here. You know, uh, 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 lying for our attention. But I, I, I like what uh, the writer says. He says, uh, choose you this day. Yes. Whom you're going to serve. Yes, yes, yes. If God be God, then follow him. Right. Right. Uh, the God of our fathers who, that, 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 that they served on the other side of the front. But if be God, the God of the Amorites and the land in which you dwell in. If he would follow him. Huh? Yo, yo, yo. How long? Choose you. This day. This day. See, see, see. So, so, in other words, do you have or have you made a declaration of independence? Not this but even when it comes to our home, our families and whatnot, does our faith reflect in our families? Does our faith, does our faith walk reflect in our families? Are we bringing our families to church? Are we bringing our families to the altar? What what have, have we made a declaration of faith for our families? Oh, oh, the writer asked us, um, how long will you halt between two opinions? How, how, how long will you halt between two opinions? And then you know what I'm going to say, and, 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 as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You, you got a declaration of independence? Uh, I think I need to tell you something else here. Um, we have to not just have a declaration of independence, but here, look at the text here. Uh, here, Jonah is Sitting, you, you know him. He's lost everything. His home was destroyed. Family destroyed. His cattle and sheep was taken by, by thieves and what happened. And he left with nothing. Not a possession in the world. All his wardrobe is gone. Even his respect to the point where, where he breaks out and balls his his body is touched by the enemy. And here, his friends are around him. Watch this. Elephant is in the text. Says, all I know is, is what I've seen, I declare. In other words, uh, he was saying, uh, I've been around a long time, Joe. Now, this is his friend talking. And uh, uh, you had to do something wrong for this to happen to you. No man that is born of a woman is impure, but, but, they're, uh, is pure, but, but they're, 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 they're wrong. Uh, not only that, they're vile, they're corrupt like sour milk. You know what I'm saying? You, you had to do something wrong, Joe. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Joe, it's, it's clean. It's clean. I ain't did nothing, man. I ain't hurt nobody. I ain't said nothing wrong to nobody. I ain't cussed nobody out. I go to church every Sunday. I make home. I pay time. I do all the right stuff there. I, there's nothing that I've done. But yet, can, can you imagine you got some friends around you? And, and they couldn't, and, and your trouble 
time and your time is bereaving. You've lost everything. You lost the car. You lost the house. You lost your job. You lost it. And you got friends that can't do, do no more and tell you you had to do something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yes, you had to do something wrong. Because ain't no way. And not only that, and Eliphaz is saying, uh, not only do I feel like, but, but the ancient philosophers and other people feel the same way. You had to do something wrong. Yeah. Now, had I been Job, and Eliphaz was my friend. I might have punched him in his mouth <laughs> for saying that to me. You know, I'm not, I done lost my car. I lost everything. I don't have a possession in the world, and you can't say no more than that to me. And then call me a hypocrite. The, the, the text tells us something. And it, it all, it's still all of us saying that. You can be doing the right thing <laughs> as a Christian. And you can make all the right moves and treat everybody right and love for But still, uh, you can have a time of bad breaks. You don't have to be to get nothing. You don't have to be 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 the sin or what have you. And, but, but this is a thinking. Yeah. Even among folk, yes. even in the church, when something that falls somebody, they had to do something wrong. There's something that they, and that the reason why it's happening to them, because they, 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 they not living right. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be so young. This is what the text is trying to explain to us. See, and, 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 and Eliphaz is going on his spiritual experience. He going to put what I've seen, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and what I've seen, I declare. But as Christians, as believers, we too have a declaration of faith. Just like Eliphaz, you know, we say, I've seen, I, 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 what I've seen, I declare. And what I've seen, I've seen the power of God yeah. in my life. I've seen what God can do in a person's life. I've seen where he's brought me from. I've seen how the power of God was able to reach down and way down and pick me up. I've seen what God can do. You're talking about what you, you declare what you, you've seen. I declare what I, I know. I declare what I know. I have a declaration of independence. I declare what I've seen yeah. by the power of God, you know what I'm saying, that has helped me along the way, the grace of God which, that has kept me, uh, the love of God has helped me. Yes, yes. yes. Did y'all see yes. on last week uh, where, where, I think it was the week before last, uh, where the young man had killed them folk in the church? Uh, did you see where, where the power of God was yeah, at the yeah, end, yeah. where they were able to go to court? Yeah. And here, I, I mentioned this over Wednesday night, but, but, but here they were able to go to court. Yeah. And one, one, one girl and her, her little brother said, you know, after her, her mother had been killed, and her father said, hey, we're not going to see nothing today. We're just going to go and attend. And when everybody got there, you know, and the first elder person that stepped up to him said they wanted to dress the young man. Say, young man, you took something dear from me. You took my, my parent, my grandmother, and I don't like what you did, but I forgive you. Amen. Till another one came up. I don't like what you did, and it hurt me. You know, you took something that was cherished to us. She's been in our family. She's a, she was a, a patriarch of the family, a matriarch of the family. But yet you took what we love, but we forgive you. 
and, and the little girl and her brother, she, she, she sat a seat, having seen the elder foot one by one. She, she couldn't keep still. She said, I got to see something. And she was able to step up and say, you heard us. Uh, you left us without a mother, but we forgive you if we see the power. I forgive you. Do you have a declaration of independence that allows you to stay? Y'all, yes. y'all, y'all looking at me straight, let me. See, see, and just the same way that faith declared their freedom and wanted uh, independence from, 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 from the slave master and whatnot, you know, we too declare faith. And God declare our independence from the enemy. Y'all, y'all looking at me strange. Our real emancipation proclamation uh, uh, that, 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 that those papers for us, Jesus gave them to us uh, in John Gospel 15 and 15. He said, uh, no longer do I call you sinners, but now I call you my, my friend. Now, 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 I, 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 he said, because a servant doesn't know the plans of the master, what, what's going on in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So I call you friend because everything that the Father has revealed to me, I'm giving back to y'all. So y'all y'all know won't be clueless. Now I, I need to tell you something before y'all latch home and look at the text. The word servant. The scholars were sensitive and almost shame and, and embarrassed to put, put the real original text in there. You know what I'm saying? But the original word for saying instead that they were sensitive. They didn't want to offend anybody, so they put seven. But to, if you read the original text, uh, it says slave. You no longer slaves. Yeah. But I call you my friend. See, that's that's the original text there. Not serving, but but they were sensitive to some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They didn't want to offend nobody, but they were so they said serving. But the original in the Hebrew is slave. Now what is a slave? Y'all got time. Slaves. Uh I read where Holland, where uh during slavery times the elders, older folks would go out into the field and pick cotton. And, and the other folk that couldn't work out there in the field in the hot sun, uh, they were there to mind the children and watch out after them. And by lunchtime, the children would, would eat lunch. You know, they would eat mash and grits and it was put in a bucket and milk was poured over, you know what I'm saying? And then when they were dropped into a trough, and in the light, there was a, 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 a dirt line in the milk, long line, you could see it in the, in the milk. And those little children would have to go to the trough like cattle and put their hands in and they trained. Hmm? With his sleeves. Then I told my daughter one once she was young, she said, I said, I need you to do this. Well, you know, did treat me like a slave? <laughs> oh, you know what a slave is? <laughs> Yeah, somebody works and don't get paid. See, right there, you know what he said. And somebody's not able to read, or they don't learn how to read. Correct. Yeah, see, because see, uh, whenever the slave master wanted to talk about something in the company, the slave they spelt it out. Mm -hmm. So on, so on, so. You know, I, I say, I, I, this is my parents used to do this when I was young. You Spell out so they didn't know I could read, I, and I could tell them for two years I knew what they were saying. You know what I'm saying? When they, they said Santa Claus, spell Santa Claus. I ain't said toy. You know what I'm saying? Gift. You know what I'm saying? I knew what that said. I, I, in two years, they didn't know I could read. I was reading that stuff all along. I ain't tell them. Are you a friend of Jesus? Yeah. Uh, the friend uh, of the Savior of humanity. Yeah. You understand that? That Jesus is the Savior of the world. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. No 
no longer must you be, but afraid. These are our uh, Declaration of Independence papers here. No longer must you be, but friends. Huh? Friends. Then I, I know y'all got to go. But the last thing, finally, our Declaration of Independence is uh, not the, the symbol of a piece of paper, a parchment that was written with names on it. You understand that that showed the, the, the American dream. But but ours was a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the symbol. You understand? And the cross, what the cross meant was, you know, something uh, was being replaced. Hate was being replaced with love. Sadness was being replaced with joy. Uh, insensitivity was being replaced with generosity and gentleness. Stinginess was replaced with generosity. Uh, impatience was replaced with patience. Rudeness was replaced with gentleness. Uh, the lack of faith was replaced with faithfulness. You know, that, that, that's what the cross symbolized. That, that's uh, the symbol of our declaration of independence. What, what, what else? Oh, uh, it meant that a mistake, you understand, was forgiven. It meant that an error was erased. Hallelujah. It even marked a, a place, not a statue, but a, a place. So here, LFL said, I, I declare what I've seen and what, what I know, but what, what we see, we see a place. Not a statue, but a place. You know, that reminds us, you understand, of the place called Golgotha. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a place that reminds us where our sin record was cleansed. Yeah. It was a place that we, we recognize the power of God, the power to, to take, our, uh, 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 take our downs and turn them into ups, uh, the power to, to pick me up and turn me around again. That power, that, that place you, called Calvary. Yeah. You understand? Know where, where, where our Savior died over 2,000 years ago. And then we turn around and remind it, Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. He came again with promises in his hand. The promise of eternal life, eternal freedoms, you know, quality and justice for all people. I'm talking about our declaration of independence. Do you have one this morning? Do you have one? No longer the song, no longer the song right say. It was there by faith that I received my 